Step into the world of The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, a classic TV series from 1959 that follows the adventures of a likable young man named Dobie. The show, with its simple yet relatable storytelling, captures what teenage life was like in the late 50s. What makes this series special? Well, get ready for a mix of funny, surprising, and even sad facts that will keep you interested. Is there a particular scene or moment that you really like? Maybe it's the charm of a classic Hollywood actor who stole the spotlight for you. As you think back on the series, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. What's your favorite memory or personal experience related to the show? Share it with us. So whether you've been a fan for a long time or you're new to Dobie's world, there's something for everyone in this timeless classic. Keep watching and make sure to share your thoughts. Your stories are what make the journey even more special. The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, which debuted in 1959, is a noteworthy sitcom in television history for exploring the teenage perspective. Following the success of Leave it to Beaver, it shifted its focus to Dobie Gillis's adolescent experiences. Notable actresses like Michelle Lee, Sally Kellerman, and Marlo Thomas made early TV appearances as Dobie's girlfriends. Unlike its predecessor, the show features Dwayne Hickman breaking the fourth wall and interacting with the audience, adding a unique dimension to the teen sitcom experience. The series blends humor with relatable teenage scenarios, making it an enjoyable watch for those seeking a lighthearted take on adolescent life. However, opinions on the show vary. Some consider it a classic, praising actors like Bob Denver, who excels in a role surpassing his later fame in Gilligan's Island. Others express frustration with the limited availability of the series, lamenting the absence of comprehensive season sets and the high cost of individual episodes on DVD and VHS. Despite differing opinions, the many loves of Dobie Gillis left an impression on its audience with memorable characters portrayed by talented actors. Whether viewers appreciate its unique charm or criticize its limited accessibility, the show remains a part of television history worth exploring for those interested in the evolution of teen-centric sitcoms. And that's a glimpse into the world of the many loves of Dobie Gillis, where teenage perspectives and comedic storytelling converged, leaving a lasting impression on television history. Frank Phelan, known for playing Dobie Gillis's strict father on TV, also had a memorable role as Ernie, the friendly cab driver in the classic Christmas movie, It's a Wonderful Life. Besides his time on The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, Phelan had an interesting experience with a script called Ocean of Storms while working on Dick Tracy in 1989. The script told the story of an aging astronaut rejoining the lunar program and was originally meant to be produced and starred in by Warren Beatty. However, the project faced delays and rewrites, leading to its cancellation in the late 90s. Apart from being Dobie's dad, Phelan appeared in the original Twilight Zone TV series in 1960, specifically in the episode Mr. Bevis. He also had roles in the 1985 revival series in the segment Shadow Play Grace Note and the Twilight Zone The Movie in 1983. These glimpses into Phelan's career highlight his versatility, from playing a grumpy TV dad to being part of well-known shows and movies, creating a lasting impression in the world of television. The main character's mom in the show, Dobie Gillis, Lane's mom, Alice, lived a really long life and passed away in 1973 at 99 years old. Even though he often played a strict character on screen, Lane was actually known as a friendly and funny person in real life. Interestingly, Lane and his future co-star Dwayne Hickman had a connection before they worked together on the show. They were classmates at Loyola Marymount, which made their on-screen chemistry even more special. When we look into the actors' lives, it's clear that Lane was different from the strict dad he played on TV. The friendships formed at Loyola Marymount added a personal touch to the show's story. These personal stories show that the actors were more than just their on-screen characters. Lane's ability to balance his strict on-screen role with his real-life kindness adds depth to the many loves of Dobie Gillis, making it more than just a TV show. Frank Phelan, known for playing Dobie Gillis's strict father on television, displayed his acting skills in various projects. Notably, he worked with director Joe Dante in five films or TV movies, Twilight Zone, The Movie, Gremlins, Interspace, Matinee, and The Second Civil War. Phelan's talent extended beyond sitcoms, leaving a lasting impact in the world of film and TV. A fascinating detail connects Phelan's character in It's a Wonderful Life to the creation of the Sesame Street Muppet Ernie. 
Rumors suggest the character was named after Phelan's role as Ernie the taxi driver, adding a charming layer to his diverse career and influence on pop culture. In April 2018, the actress who portrayed Lane's mom in the show, Alice, grabbed attention for buying a 1-8 million home in the Hollywood Hills, a significant change from her years in Colorado. Her decision to settle in Hollywood reflects a personal journey beyond the TV screen. As we explore the lives of the cast, Lane, who played Dobie's mom, emerges as a fascinating individual. Despite portraying a strict matriarch on screen, Lane had a long and fulfilling life, passing away in 1973 at the age of 99. His off-screen demeanor, characterized by friendliness and humor, contrasts with the roles he played. Lane shared a unique connection with Dwayne Hickman, his future co-star, as they were once classmates at Loyola Marymount, adding depth to their on-screen chemistry and revealing genuine friendships that enriched the many loves of Dobie Gillis. By uncovering these lesser-known aspects of the cast, we gain a richer understanding of the individuals who brought Dobie Gillis' world to life. These stories contribute to the show's legacy, making it more than just a classic TV series from 1959. The diverse experiences of the cast members, both on and off screen, add layers of complexity to the show's narrative, transcending the boundaries of a typical sitcom. Delving into Dobie Gillis' world, we explore Richard Schallert's varied career. Recognized for his role as Nils Barris in the famous Star Trek episode The Trouble with Tribbles, Schallert's diverse roles span the world of cinema. However, he is best remembered for his portrayal of the Federation Undersecretary, highlighting the significance of his journey in the TV realm. A notable figure in the animated domain, Bob Denver, who appeared in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, lent his voice to Piglet in various Winnie the Pooh adaptations. With an impressive 23 credits across different productions, Denver's contribution to the whimsical world of Pooh endured across decades, leaving a lasting impact on animated history. In the Dobie universe, the endearing camaraderie between Dobie and Maynard, affectionately known as Dobie Doo and Maney Doo, adds warmth to the narrative. These playful monikers reflect the genuine off-screen friendships, emphasizing the depth beyond the characters' on-screen personas. While exploring lives intertwined with Dobie's, Lane's genuine persona stands in stark contrast to his stern on-screen portrayal. Lane's connection with Dwayne Hickman, formed during their Loyola Marymount days, adds a personal touch to the show's narrative, illustrating that the cast's bonds went beyond the screen. Lane's influence extends beyond his 99 years of life, contributing to the rich history of the many loves of Dobie Gillis. Thus, as we peel back the layers of the Dobie Gillis saga, we uncover the rich history shaped by each cast member. Their diverse experiences, both on and off screen, enrich the show's narrative, turning it into more than a classic TV series, a reflection of the lasting impact of the many loves of Dobie Gillis on television history.